Welcome to my next video. This is Professor Capco and we're going to explore how to calculate hospital death rates in a, a healthcare statistics course. So first of all we're going to use some data. This is some data for a community hospital for a fictional year. We've got uh, on the left the information on the right is the number. So we have adult and children live discharges is 645. Adult and children deaths are 4. Total newborn live discharges is 87. And total newborn deaths equals 1. <coughs> the formula that we're going to use for hospital death rate gross <coughs> is equal to the number of deaths of inpatients in the period times 100 divided by the number of discharges and those discharges are going to include the deaths. So this is how we're going to calculate it. So for the first one, let's calculate the hospital death rate gross. Okay, so on top, as you recall, we need the number of deaths of inpatients. Okay, so in here we've got, we see we have four, and we have one newborn, unfortunately. So we're going to add those together, it equals five. Four plus one is five. We multiply that by 100. So on top, this is our numerator, we've got 500. And then if you recall in the denominator, we have the total number of discharges, including deaths. So we have to do a little bit of adding here. We have 645 adult and children live discharges. We had four adult or children deaths. We also had 87 newborn discharges, so we're going to add that. And lastly, we had one newborn death, so we're going to add that. If we add those together, we have 737. So the last thing to do in our formula, as you recall, is to divide the numerator by the denominator. So in the numerator, we had 500. In the denominator, we have 737. Put that into your calculator. You get 0 0.68. Now, because we multiply by 100, this is going to be a percentage. Don't get confused and say 6.68 and try and move the decimal over to say it's 68%. We've already multiplied by 100. So that's already been done. So this is 0.68%. In other words, it's less than 1%. So be careful with that because we've already calculated, we've already multiplied it by the 100. Now for our little bonus, we're going to figure out we're going to calculate the net death rate, and we're going to use this data here. So we've got adult and children live discharges, adult and children deaths, deaths less than 48 hours, deaths greater than or equal to 48 hours, total newborn live discharges, total newborn deaths, and then the deaths that were less than 48 hours and deaths that were greater than or equal to 48 hours. And we got this data here. So we're going to do the calculations, follow along with this. So the first thing I'm going to do is I've got 7, 7 adult or children deaths. And I'm going to add to that 
sorry, it's moved up too far. And add to that the two newborn deaths that we had. So that's going to be a total of nine deaths. We also know that two of the adult or children deaths for less than 48 hours and one of the newborn death was less than 48 hours. So we add those together, two plus one is three. And then we subtract it from the nine. So nine minus three is equal to six. So we take that 6 and we're going to multiply it by 100 because that's what we do in our numerator. So our numerator is going to be 600 because we're looking for a percentage. That's why we're multiplying by 100. Now we've got some more adding to do. Here's the data again. And we're going to have to add up our adult discharges. We have 409 adult or children discharges. And add to that, because we're going to add the deaths to the discharges, there were seven adult or child deaths. So if we add that together, that's 416. And then we had 68 newborn discharges. And we're going to add to that the two newborn deaths. So we add the 68 and the 2, and that's 70. So if we add the 416 to the 70, we wind up with 486. That's the total number of discharges and deaths for both adults, children, and for, um, and for newborns. Then we're going to take back out the one, the deaths that were within 48 hours. So two of the adult or child deaths for less than 48 hours and one of the newborn deaths was less than 48 hours. So that's three. So we're going to take the 486 and we're going to subtract out three. So that's 483, oops, excuse 483 in our denominator. So our numerator, we've got 600, and our denominator, we have 483. We divide 600 by 483, and it's 1.24. And remember, that's a percentage, so it's 1.24%. We know it's a percent because we multiplied by 100 already. So that's how we calculate the net hospital de death rate. If you subscribe to this channel, you can find other helpful mathematical videos. Thank you.